News Release Wednesday, March 15, 2023 Occipital Place Area supports visually guided navigation, but only when walking, not crawling. Using vision to efficiently move through an area by foot uses a unique region of the brain's cortex, according to a small study funded by the National Eye Institute N. E. I. The region, called the occipital place area OPI, fails to activate during other modes of moving, such as crawling. The finding may help explain developmental milestones as children learn to interact with and navigate their near environments. The study published in the journal Cerebral Cortex, N. E. I. is part of the National Institutes of Health. Navigating through a physical environment, anything from a small room to a city, requires the brain to process several classes of information. Each class of information is processed in its own region of the brain's cortex, which then work together to support navigation behavior, such as walking. Loss of any one of these regions can affect how or whether someone can successfully navigate. Two main areas of the cortex are activated as people navigate through an environment, the OP, and the retrosplenial complex RSC. Daniel Dilks, Ph.D., Emory University, Atlanta, theorizes that each of these areas supports a different kind of navigation. The RSC supports map-based navigation, which involves finding our way from a specific place to some distant, out-of-sight place, for example, finding our way from your house to your favorite restaurant. By contrast, he believes the O.P. supports visually guided navigation, which involves finding our way through near environment, avoiding boundaries and obstacles, for example, moving through your kitchen without bumping into things. However, his theory has been controversial, in part because the O.P. doesn't appear to support visually guided navigation until around eight years of age. Yet children somehow manage to get around their homes and schools long before that time, even from the earliest ages, when they crawl rather than walk. We asked ourselves, does the O.P. come on early but just mature slowly? Dilks said, or does crawling use an entirely different system? While most adults and older children primarily navigate environments by walking, we retain the ability to crawl as we did in infancy. If OP adjust matured slowly, then it should be activated by both modes of movement, Dilks reasoned. So, he and students Christopher Jones and Joshua Bylan set out to discover whether the OP would activate in adults when crawling. To test this, the scientists recorded videos from the perspective of someone walking through an environment, and then similar videos from the perspective of someone crawling through that same environment. They also patched together random shots of the videos scrambled and took videos from a flying over the environment perspective to include a mode of navigation not accessible to humans. When viewing videos, our brains often activate as if we were performing the activity ourselves, a sympathetic response that made Dilk's experiment possible. Using functional magnetic resonance imaging fMRI, the researchers were able to monitor the activation of brain regions in 15 adult study participants as they were viewing each video and imagining themselves moving through the environment. When the participants viewed the walking video, the region of the brain corresponding to the O, P, o was activated. But when they viewed the other videos crawling, flying, or scrambled, O, P, o was not activated. In contrast, the RSC was activated when viewing all the videos suggesting that only OP is specific for walking as opposed to other modes of visual navigation. In addition, several other brain areas were activated when the participants viewed the crawling videos suggesting additional regions that may be involved in navigation early in life. Not only does this study suggest that there is a completely different brain system managing navigation in early versus late childhood, but it suggests that each of these pieces of the navigation system come on at different stages of development. Dilks said, Based on our study, 
we think O, P, is specifically tied to mature, efficient walking. The study was funded by the National Eye Institute, Roan E. Itwindy, 9,724. This press release describes a basic research finding. Basic research increases our understanding of human behavior and biology, which is foundational to advancing new and better ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat disease. Science is an unpredictable and incremental process. Each research advance builds on past discoveries, often in unexpected ways. Most clinical advances would not be possible without the knowledge of fundamental basic research. To learn more about basic research, visit https slash slash www.nagov slash news events slash basic research digital media kit. N E I leads the federal government's research on the visual system and eye diseases. NEI supports basic and clinical science programs to develop sight-saving treatments and address special needs of people with vision loss. For more information, visit https slash slash www.nenegov. About the National Institutes of Health National Institute of Health National Institute of Health the nation's medical research agency includes 27 institutes and centers and is a component of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. National Institute of Health is the primary federal agency conducting and supporting basic, clinical, and translational medical research and is investigating the causes, treatments, and cures for both common and rare diseases. For more information about National Institute of Health and its programs, visit www.nagov. National Institute of Health Turning Discovery into Health Registered. Jones CM, Bylon J. and Dilks DD. The occipital place area represents visual information about walking, not crawling. Cerebral Cortex, March 15, 2023. HTTPS slash slash doi org slash ten point ten ninety three slash circus slash bad fifty five.